Hello students. In this video, I am going to show you the applications of variational principle. Okay. So, many problems can be solved using this principle. So, today we are going to solve one problem that is uh, that uh, find the shortest distance between two points in a plane or question may be asked uh, in this way that uh, so that the shortest distance between two points in a plane is a straight line. So, same question can be asked in two different ways. Okay. So, first one is find the shortest distance between two points in a plane or it may be asked in this way that uh, so that the shortest distance between two points in a plane is a straight line. Now, let us solve this. Suppose x 1 and y 1 sorry x 1 y 1 and x 2 y 2 be two points in x y plane as shown in the figure. So, we can have infinite number of paths between these two points x 1 y 1 x 2 y 2. Okay. So, we need to find the straight path sorry not a straight but uh, the shortest path uh, or we need to show that shortest path is the straight line. Okay. Now, so in the red color this is the required path let us assume in that way and we need to show that it is a straight line it must be a straight line. So, here you see let us consider a very small element d s of this part so here in this case this part is suppose d y and this portion is suppose d x ok so this is the origin ok so we have considered considered a very small element of this part suppose d s ok so, d s be a very small element of the part between x 1 and y 1 sorry x 1 y 1 and x 2 y 2. So, that so that d s is given by root over d x whole square plus d y whole square. Now, from here if you take d x common d x whole square common then within bracket you will get 1 plus d y by d x whole square. Okay. Now, this part d y by d x we can we can represent this one as y dot. So, we can write this term as y dot square. So, let us write here it is y dot square. Okay. So, let me y dot square. So, square root of d x square is d x. So, this term implies. So, we can write if you write this one outside the square root. So, it becomes this. So, d s is equal to we have got this root over 1 plus y dot square into d s. Okay. So, now to obtain the whole part we need to integrate okay, the element d s. Now, let me scroll down the page. Okay, we can obtain the whole part by integrating the element d s from x 1 to uh, x 2. Okay. So, the whole part can be obtained. by so r is equal to integration the s from x 1 to x 2. So, d s can be replaced by root over 1 plus y dot square d x. So, it gives i is equal to integral x 1 to x 2 root over 1 plus y dot square d x sorry not d x that is uh, it is supposed to be uh, y dot is equal to d y by d x here. So, and one uh, let me replace the root over uh, 1 plus y dot square by f. Okay. So, we can write so integration of f from x 2 to y x 2 uh, from x 1 to x 2. So, f d s actually uh, sorry it is supposed to be d x okay. not d s d x here. 
so where f is equal to root over so let me write where f is equal to root over 1 plus y dot square the part will be minimum or shortest if this f satisfy the euler lagrange theorem so what was that euler lagrange theorem so that was del f by del y minus d by dx of del f by del y dot is equal to 0 okay now let us obtain del f by del y dot sorry del y so that's going to be equal to del we know f is equal to 1 plus y dot square okay so this f is a function of y dot and here it is y so it must give 0 so this must be equal to 0 now let us obtain del f by del y dot that's going to be equal to del by del y dot of 1 plus y dot square if you differentiate it then you must get 1 by root 2 1 plus y dot square then again if you differentiate the term within uh, under square root then you will get 2 y dot so which is equal to so here 2 to cancel which is equal to y dot by root over 1 plus y dot square so therefore from this equation Lagrange equation so Euler Lagrange equation this is suppose equation number one so equation one implies if you use these values in this equation one then you will get 0 minus d by dx of y dot by root over 1 plus y dot square is equal to 0 so which implies d by dx of y dot by root over 1 plus y dot square is equal to 0 derivative of this is equal to 0 what does it mean it means it means y dot by root over 1 plus y dot square must be a constant it is a constant say it is k the constant is suppose k so if you solve this or if you simplify this you must get y dot square is equal to k square 1 plus y dot square then again if you simplify it then you will get y dot square minus 1 minus k square is equal to k square then y dot square will be equal to k square by 1 minus k square so y dot will be equal to k by root over 1 minus k square so it is a constant so we can write this is as m so let us suppose this is m so let me write so this implies y dot is equal to m so we know y dot means dy by dx so that's why we can write instead of y dot we can write dy by dx is equal to m which implies dy is equal to m dx okay now if you integrate this this is suppose equation number two okay integrating equation number two we get
this is suppose another constant c okay c is a constant so if you integrate this you will get y is equal to m x plus c so here you can see this is nothing but this is an equation of a straight line so it is straight line therefore we can say that the shortest distance between two points in a plane sorry in a plane is a straight line so hope you have understood this uh, if you have understood this please share the video with your friends and if you are new to my channel please subscribe the channel and support me to create new contents for you thank you for watching